So Ralph and I got the idea in late 1927. I said, why don't we join, <coughs> why don't we uh, organize Cub Scouts? I said, that's a good idea. So we started making plans for organizing Cub Scouts. Well, things got in the way. We knew that our camp was coming up in 1928 to go to Camp Bob Garland. We had to raise money. So we had to set the Cub Scout program aside. And uh, we picked out a, uh, a play. The scouts put on a, a play at the high school. We made a lot of good money on that. We gathered newspapers every weekend. An old fellow by the name of C.T. Bobbitt was our scouts commissioner. We used his old Model T Ford's pick, uh, pickup to pick up the papers. He had a warehouse, he'd store them. Then when it come time to sell them, he'd take them over and sell them for it, get the money out of them. Then we put on a, uh, a carnival in the basement of the Presbyterian Church. And uh, we had booths in there. We'd charge a penny a booth or nickel a booth or 10 cents a booth, whatever it kind of was. Then we had a final program after the uh, old booths were taken care of, the fish pond and the pair of heavy underwear hanging up for men only and all such things as that. The, uh, I put on an electrical demonstration for them. I had quite an electrical setup, a Tesla coil and uh, very Geissler tubes and various things that way. I demonstrated a real electrical demonstration to them. I could demonstrate to them how to fry eggs on ice and how, how to line up a whole bunch of people, line them all up, hook them up to the test of coil. Nobody would get shocked, but a light bulb would light up on the end, end person holding it in his, in his hand. They thought that was great. So that was part of the things I learned back at, before I was old enough to join the Boy Scouts and kept it up all my life. Well, 1928 rolled around, came 1st of June, time to go to Camp Bob Garland. We had enough money to pay every boy's way in full, which was a 10-day camp period. It wasn't a five-day like they have here. We went out for 10 days and we slept in big army surplus tents. 